Hello! So I've deemed today an errands day. I'm gonna go get some clothes tailored for the first time. I usually hem my own pants, but I bought a really fancy, nice pink suit to wear to weddings and other special occasions and I thought I should probably get it professionally tailored. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that now and send some mail and get some groceries as well while I'm at it. So yeah, let's have a errandy day. And I think I'm gonna come home and do a lot of like the little things so that tomorrow I can fully put my focus on making stickers and preparing for the shop. So let's go! I decided to walk home instead of taking the train because I don't really feel like getting on public transport today. But the sky is so lovely and listen to the sound of the birds. <laughs> I'm like barefaced and I just got a package from No Issue and I think it's my stickers so let's open them. Let's see. So I don't think I've um I've shown you but I got oh, I probably should show you first. So a while ago I got contacted by No Issue to make tissue paper with them and this is what I made. So cute. And I'll be using this for the new store update. I've had it for a while now, but I just haven't opened my shop in quite a long time. So I haven't been able to use it. But yeah, that's my new tissue paper. And then now I got some stickers. So I decided to get stickers to kind of match with the tissue paper. Because I've been seeing them with other people's orders and it's just so cute. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of stickers. Ah! I don't remember how many I got. Did I get 500? Not sure. Um, but I thought I'd do a typeface one for a froggy friend from a froggy friend. So let me get something to kind of show you on. Okay. Touch it like that. So cute! So cute! And then I'd probably um, wrap it as well. And there you go. Looks like that. Really happy with how that all turned out. I was a bit worried about um, if the colour of the sticker would match with the colour of the paper, but it's perfect. And I'm really glad.
I just finished a Zoom call and I'm on lunch break. And I'm gonna open this package, put my lunch over here. Don't know what it is. I'm thinking it's business cards. Maybe. Ooh. Looks like it's gonna be my business cards. I think they're operating a little bit differently, so they're not being sent in the usual package. Yeah. Usually they have like quite a nice um, package with a little bit less plastic. But I think they're making do at the moment. Which is understandable. Let me sanitize my hands first. Okay. I'm so excited to see how these came out. So these ones are just the no the Kirby ones that I already have um, for these pins. So I just did a restock. Oh, this is an old colorway, but they look like this and a second one like this. But this is an old one that I think I kept for myself. The new colorway is a little bit like more pastel and cute. But I think the other two packets are backings for a new pin that I made. Um, it's not going to be out for a while because it's still in the manufacturing process. But I will show you what they look like. I hope this is enough of a hint to what it's going to be. <laughs> and then the back looks like that. Oh, I'm really happy with how these turned out. I think I um, went for a different design approach because I feel like I've haven't feel like I haven't been using a lot of my design skills in my illustration practice. So I thought I would integrate them a little bit more. break at work again but I just got this huge package and I'm gonna open it up it's all of my new merch the stuff that I was making um, a couple of vlogs ago two vlogs ago I think and let me just try to get it open Oh, these must be all the business cards that I got. Oh my goodness. A lot of... Oh my gosh, a lot of stuff. It's like two layers of merch. I only have 15 minutes till I have to go back to work, so... Gotta open it quite quickly. I think I'll go through it more in detail later, but for now, let's just have a look. Oh my gosh! They turned out so good. Look. <laughs> they look so cute. Oh my goodness, and I have so many of them. Oh my gosh. So I want to get a marker for this because um, I like to just write. I like to write on the package what each one kind of is, so... Oops, I accidentally ripped through the bottom of that. Okay. I'm guessing this is the umbrella. I need to find one that they've already peeled. <laughs> oh my god! That is so cute! <laughs> oh my god, okay. That's freaking adorable. Oh, oh 
umbrella. You know how I was saying I wanted to use the actual shape of the acrylic? That's so cute. It's like clear. Oh my god. That's so cute. Hot foggy. Oh, and these are the buttons. They're the same buttons as um as last time. These must be what are these? Oh, there's the sticker sheets. Let's see how they turned out. Oh my gosh, ah, I'm so glad. That's the tiny crossing one. And this one's the animal crossing one. Oh, those, they're really, really cute. But I think like one, one thing that I don't like is that I didn't add bleed. Yeah, the stickers are still super cute, but I just forgot to add bleed, so... They are, like, actually cut to... Oop! The... The line. <sighs> Why did I not... Why did I not oversee that? Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> This little guy is so cute. Oh. <laughs> I, okay. Oh, calm down. I can't get over this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's so cute. And he's gonna be like upside down like this. So it's gonna be dangling off it like this. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. <laughs> that's so freaking cute. And I love how the colors turned out as well. Like, oh my goodness. The color is so, so vibrant and nice. And all the ones that I'm like fiddling around with, those ones will definitely be mine. And then there's a whole other layer. So much stuff. Ooh, and this is a potion. Ah, oh, they turned out so nice. It's gonna be like the potion and the frog. Oh my gosh, it's not like this. It's like this. <laughs> it's like this way. So that the frog is like pouring out of the potion. That's so cute. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta pour some love on your own merch. I think overall everything's turning out so great, except for maybe the stickers, like ah, uh, why did I not oversee that there should have been bleed on them? But it's okay. I think they're just leaving something to be desired and I'm glad that I made that mistake so that I won't make it next time. And these are processed froggies. Which you would have seen already, but I'll just show you again anyway. The opened one. Yeah. They like protect the earth. These ones are the juice box ones. Juice box. Let me find an opened one. And what I mean by open one is like all of them are, have protective stuff on them but when they go through quality check um, the merchandise the, the manufacturers um, open one of them from each batch I think and then quality check them so I can usually find one that's already been opened when I open this bag in a weird way. Oh, here we go. Oh, that turned out so cute. It's a frog on one side and then we have 
the bear on the other. That's adorable. Oh my god. I wish you could see how much I'm smiling right now because I'm so happy with how all these charms came out. Ah, okay, these ones are the already assembled. Yeah, so I will. Ooh! Oh, I asked for heart rings. Oh, they gave me circle rings, but I asked for heart rings. Ah! Oh well, that's okay. Um, I'll have to take new product photos of these though. But yeah, I, I bought some already assembled ones as well, just to save me some. Time. I'll peel this one just for myself but as you can see um, I didn't put I forgot to put bleed on them so they peel off right to the cut line which isn't really what I wanted and not what I planned they're still really cute and none of them are like cut badly but yeah uh, I should have put bleed on them I'm such a dummy. But yeah, I'll probably sell them at a discounted price. Something a little bit less than I had originally planned. But what a journey. What a lot of, a lot of things. Let me get back to work and I'll check back in later. Oh my God, it's super gloomy out today but I just wanted to open some packages with you. Let's do these. Um, I think these are some keychains by the feeling of it. Oh. Yes. So I got some stars. And I really should have written down what I was getting all of these for. Yeah, I really don't remember my own plans. <laughs> but we will see. And we will find out. Um, I'll have a look at the other stuff that I bought and kind of deduce what I wanted to use for each one. We have this, which is something a company sent me. Ah, ooh. Studio sent me some earphones. Ah, I always rip the tissue paper. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, oops. Okay, there we go. Not. <laughs> wow, look at that. So that's what it looks like. Oh, this is so pretty and the feeling of it, it's so soft. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so soft. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop touching it. Hello, it's Monday and today I'm going to focus on assembling charms and then in the afternoon I'm gonna finish my froggy commissions and I do have a new enamel pin delivery coming today which is really exciting. Oh my god, I gotta sneeze. Let's go assemble some charms. Let's go. <laughs>
the things off with my nail is like ruining the inside of my nail so I've developed a new technique where I um, lightly push the plastic off it's really hard to do it at that angle um, off the ring part and then once I get my thing inside the the hoop I can just rip it off like that so yeah it's my new technique and this doesn't scratch the acrylic at all because first of all my little what is it called again I forgot what it was called but this thing is really blunt um, and also the protective layer does do a pretty good job at not getting any scratches Oi. on the acrylic and my process for assembling charms is basically just peeling all the protective layer off I used to not peel it off but I think it's just a easier and better experience for the people who are getting them for them to be pre-peeled and they won't get messed up during postage because I do wrap them up okay so as as I was saying <laughs> I peel all the protective layer off and then I um, use little split rings no, wait these are split rings these are jump rings okay so I use jump rings to connect all of them together. I have a pair of pliers that I use to do so. Um, jewelry pliers. And yeah, that's how I, that's how I make them. Pretty like labor intensive, but it's the kind of labor that I really like. It's really nice to just be able to zone out. I'm currently watching Buzzfeed Unsolved, which I've never watched before. I'm also getting through the second season of Keeper. But yeah, that's basically probably what I'm gonna do today. Assemble charms and watch BuzzFeed Unsolved. just finished my lunch and look at what arrived my enamel pins so excited to open them ah! okay the knife is out I shouldn't be flinging it around like that ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. oh my god they're so big they are giant. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, so these are the curvy ones that you guys have all already seen. They've been on my shop um, for quite a while now. And these are the new ones. Oh my god, it's giant. <laughs> it's a big boy. So cute. Okay, I'll show you in detail. Oh my goodness, so cute! Okay, I'm gonna go stick them, stick one of them onto the backing card so you can see. Okay, it's at least a C plus. <laughs> so cute! Yeah, at the back of these cards, it says. Thank you for loving a little fishy like me. So I hope you like those. I think by the time this vlog comes up, they will be on the shop already um, and the shop will be open. So go check them out. Um, and if not, I will put the opening date of the shop here. So yeah, 
back to charm assembly now. been at this for probably about four hours now and I still have more than 40 charms to 40 of these to assemble so yeah let's keep working and then I need to also assemble these charms the foggy ones and I think I'm gonna also pin all of my new pins onto their backing boards so yeah i'll do that all today dark so I'm gonna turn the light on and, oh, and continue assembling charms. I don't know how interesting this footage is because it's literally just like me assembling charms and I've been at it for like five hours but I'm probably gonna cut the footage down to like a minute or two anyway <laughs> um, just so that you're not falling asleep in your chair. Finally finished all of those. Finished all of those. It is 5:40, so it's taking me quite a while to do that. Um, but we're moving right on. We're moving right on to my deck, the froggy charm. I mean, pinning.
watching me um, assemble charms and pin pins on backing boards the whole day. <laughs> it is quite like a time consuming um, thing, but I do quite enjoy it. So this is <laughs> um <laughs> you're not gonna finish that sentence. It's 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 and that's pretty much it for this vlog. Thanks so much for sticking around. It's been a long one, but I hope it was somewhat entertaining and enjoyable for you and thank you so much for being here. I will see you in the next vlog which will probably be part two of shop prep and maybe even another shop update? Who knows? But I hope to see you there! <laughs> Remember to click subscribe if you want to see more content and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Love you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>